Okay, it's R2D2 sitting on my portable bench. I don't quite have the depth to get the camera for back fair enough, so I just pan up. So I've now got him on, um, I've put him on the base, as you can see there. So if I just pan up, and I've got his arms on. So I will, I'll just move in a little bit clear, uh, closer. Okay, I've just moved in a bit closer and a bit higher with the camera. Uh, so we're looking at the back of R2-D2, that's, the top, that's his top arm. So if I just pan him round, so this is from behind. Uh, and I think I've got this correct. I'll take this section apart in a minute and you can see. I was looking on the, uh, the um, 3D printer site um, and Larry's got some photos about how he set this section up. Uh, and I just put this together briefly over the weekend so I think it's correct. One thing I've found that is slightly confusing is what's left and right because if you look on the 3D um, uh, fusion drawing uh, it's left and right from behind the unit uh, but sometimes it's left and right from in front <laughs> if you see what I mean so sometimes that might be left and sometimes that might be right depends how you look at the uh, uh, what you consider left and right because this section for example there that that piece there is left and that piece there is right so that would make it left and right looking from behind uh, which is as the um, uh, as, as I say as the 3d fusion but at the moment I've just put this together we're left and right looking from the front <laughs> so, but I think it will be uh, because I've got the intersection uh, mating with with that uh, it should all it should all work out, and also the inner sections I've I've got. So, so in other words, that and the the circular and its bracket are all right hand side. So I think if you just swap them as a complete entity, you haven't got a problem. You'll see what I mean when you come to put it together. But uh, if you can see, I'll just pan the camera back so you see this. So there you can see I've got that upper section. So that's, it's actually got front left written on there, but as I say, that's a bit unclear. That's, that's part, uh, that's part one, that's part two is inside, that's part three and four is inside. So if I take uh, one of the arms apart, you can see how it all disassembles. Nothing's glued at the moment, just, uh, just while I'm sort of trying to work out how it goes together. Uh, I've only got one bolt holding the thing in as well. I've got, uh, there's two bolts in here, but one's too short, so only one is actually going right the way through. As you can see. I printed these uh, plastic insert sections. So you need four per, uh, four per piece. I've, I've done them at like 40% infill, so they, to give them a bit of strength. Again, I was looking on the on the forums, and uh, uh, several people were saying to print those those pieces really high density. Uh, now, if we just put this down. If you see inside, uh, again, if you look on the um, 3D printer forums, there's some, there's some uh, further uh, photos of this. But from what I can work out, uh, there's, a, there's a bigger gap there between those two holes than there is between those two holes, and the angle's slightly different, uh, which is this section is facing forward, because that will line up. with that thing, with that piece, again, with those two uh, bolts facing forward. And the way that was on the leg just now, it meant the leg went backwards. So just to explain, so that if the leg is facing backwards, that would be a, um, it would be, the, the whole body would obviously be 
bottom would be facing forward. So we haven't got a vertical leg section, uh, which is why you pick these particular holes. So that top one is going to go in that hole and there's four bolts and that bottom one will be going in that hole there and those two would line up with those two holes there otherwise you could have it facing take these bolts out if the leg is to be vertical you'd have it like that and it will go in like so, which would be that top hole there and that top hole there. So it's basically that is going on. It took me a while to work out and I, I can see others got very confused, but Larry's photos are really good. So I think I've got that right, and unless I come back and say it's wrong. So that's that section. Obviously there's two more bolts to go in and two more fillers. These are 100 mil bolts. I've run out, I haven't got enough, so I've bought some more. Uh, to get right through this plastic, that plastic, and that body. That one is obviously too short, it doesn't come out the other side. Okay, I'll just uh, try the different camera angles, but I think this is probably the best one. I've taken the, the dome off so you can see in from the top. This, these are just sitting in there, those, those four pieces. That's, uh, that's the left, but my suspicions are this could actually be on the other side, but uh, as I say, that's that section. And that is that section. And these, as you can see, you can see those raised uh, parts there and these raised parts, if you can get it on camera there. Uh, so that actually, all locks together like so and that is heavy well, fairly heavy uh, and it slots in quite tightly inside here but it slots in really well it fitted perfectly actually uh, those two bolts uh, are just in there at the moment just to hold my uh, system together but uh, they do actually line up perfectly with the the two bolt holes at the bottom so when that went in it's a bit of a fiddle to get it in but it does it does slot in there oh, there we go went in perfectly in in like that then you can see this pan up a bit and you can see the other side see that uh, again right hand um, I've still got to put the mechanism in for the arms these are just sitting in at the moment these front arms which you can just see there uh, so that is the arms uh, arm shoulder sections rather shoulders for the legs there you can see inside I've now Put the, it's not glued or bolted in or anything, but I've got the, the base in there. Bits are falling out at the moment, just to keep that on its own thing. But that's the, the skirt of the, of the bottom section there. So generally, it's all come together. So you can just see the top of the... Uh, body there and as you can see Nigel's keeping a very careful eye on what's going on he's waiting for his uh, his droid I'm doing I'm also printing uh, new bits of neck which I may have mentioned in the uh, previous video for uh, the move but I've still yet to make up my mind what neck I'm actually going to put on it I think I'm, there is the new um, gal neck section which is the Bob Houston sort of revised section which I'm printing but I still may put the um, the drip neck on just as uh, just to see what it's like but uh, so that that's uh, sort of going on parallel to this project at the moment so uh, 
back to the bench uh, and you can see as I was saying the uh, so that goes in there and that will go into there so that would be a leg it's a bit too tall to get all on camera at the moment but uh, you can sort of see that but once I've mounted it I can actually well, once I've done the centre leg um, I can actually get that uh, built up I suppose um, I'm going to have to have a larger base platform so the whole thing doesn't fall over which is a bit of a concern um, crashing down and smashing to pieces but uh, hopefully that won't happen so it's final view with uh, the parts I've been printing recently uh, and you can see I've got a couple of different mixes of PLA sitting in there but that's mainly the one I'm using but that's that different slightly more sassy one which parts of that are printed out of as well uh, but um, that piece is uh, I think that was printed just 10 percent because that's a huge chunky piece but some of the <coughs> sorry but some of the inner pieces i've been printing at 40 percent some of these sections because uh, they were just uh, again on the on the uh, on the blogs just saying do that these are these are just at 10 percent the, the battery holders i think this this shell section was at 10% but um, I've got all the listings if, if anyone's interested I can always put it up on the blog but I do have all the times and the amounts of PLA used and everything uh, spreadsheeted so um, that is if you were interested so that'll do for the minute